Man makes plans, but God laughs. To whom much is given, much is required. Both of these educators are known for their wise words. I'm known for a couple of sayings or dozens of sayings, but I will say one that I truly believe is that the classroom is the reason you have a school district. I like quotes. I'm an English teacher at heart. If you want to avoid criticism, say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. Oh, there are a number of them. Look for a book uh, <laughs> at some point. They are both superintendents. My name is Sharonica Harden Bartley, and I have the pleasure of serving as the superintendent for the school district of University City. I was in Wentzville for nine years, and I have been um, in Rockwood since July 1 of 2022. They each say it's important to put students first. One of the things I've always had a focus on is what's in the best interest of kids. Dr. Kane started his career as a social studies teacher. That's why I like having this map behind me. Dr. Hardin Bartley's path at first led in a different direction. Occupational therapy was my first calling, I thought. Um, I quickly learned that my passion was having more direct contact with helping young people thrive. So education was it. These superintendents agree this position is not a job. The superintendency is um, it's really a lifestyle and it's not just a position. It can't be one that you let completely overtake you. It can be all consuming if you let it be but um, that's why you have to have a North Star and I go back to what's happening in the classroom being the reason that you show up each and every day. They have something else in common they are both award winning, with Dr. Hardin Bartley winning the prestigious Robert L. Pierce Award, an award given to her by her peers. It was a very humbling experience, a very humbling recognition, and um, again, one that I'm very grateful for. Dr. Kane, he was named the 2022 National Superintendent of the year. When I say humbled, I am exceedingly humbled by this. They say they did not achieve this recognition alone. I received the award because of the 2,600 students that I serve, the 479 staff members to show up every day to support them, their families, their caregivers, this community who loves you, city. That's why I got the award. I'm just the person that was recognized, but I would be nothing without the community and the people that I serve. They both lead with collaboration, playing a very important role. We have just over 20,000 students in the Rockwood School District. I am a huge advocate of team. The Rockwood School District, for example, has 150.6 square miles. This place is too large for any one individual to do it all by themselves. I thrive on collaboration and really working to value voices and particularly those who are most impacted, really thinking about how is this decision going to impact others and who is this decision going to impact and making sure that those individuals have voice and choice whenever possible. These super superintendents say the secret to their success is always realizing their work is never done. You are constantly thinking of the needs of tens of thousands of students, thousands of staff members, um, tens of thousands of parents are constantly thinking of those interconnections and what can we be doing better. Make whatever situation or environment that you're engaged in, make it better. Like you should never rest on your laurels. <laughs>